Hi friends, welcome to our channel. Our today's concept is expression for energy density in terms of Einstein coefficients. Let's start the video. Before starting the actual concept, I will explain some basics about interaction of electromagnetic radiation with matter. Let us consider a medium M. When light passes through this medium, three quantum process will occur, namely induced absorption, spontaneous emission and stimulated emission. To understand this process, let us consider the energy levels of an atom as shown in figure. Here E1 is ground state and E2 is excited state. Initially all the electrons are in ground state. When light of energy density E mu is passes through this atom, energy of the light is absorbed by the atom so that electrons in ground state are elevated to excited state. So this process is called induced absorption. When an atom at lower energy level is elevated to higher energy level, it cannot stay at excited state for a long time. Within a time of 10 power minus 8 second, the atom returns to the lower energy state by releasing a photon of energy H mu. This emission occurs on its own without any external impetus given to the excited atom. This type of emission is called spontaneous emission and a light emitted by this emission is normal light and it can travel in multi direction. But when you added some external impurities to the system, then between ground state and excited state, another energy state will take place so that atoms from excited state will not go to ground state directly, instead of that it will go to the externally added energy state then this energy state is called metastable state because electrons in this energy state is not much stable as that of ground state and not much unstable as that of excited state. So when light travels through this atom, electrons in metastable state absorb this light energy after that electrons returns to ground state by emitting a photon. This type of emission is called stimulated emission. Light emitted by this emission is unidirectional and intensity is also more. Laser light is obtained by stimulated emission only. This is some details about interaction of electromagnetic radiation with matter. Let us derive the expression for energy density in terms of Einstein coefficients. Let us consider induced absorption. During induced absorption, light energy is absorbed by the atom and gets elevated to the excited state. So, rate of induced absorption is depending on number of electrons in ground state and also depends on energy density of incident photon. As number of electrons in ground state and energy density of incident photon increases, rate of induced absorption also increases. That is, rate of induced absorption is directly proportional to number of electrons in ground state, say N1, and rate of induced absorption is also directly proportional to energy density of incident photon, say E mu. Finally, rate of induced absorption is directly proportional to N1 E mu. That is, rate of induced absorption is equal to B1 to N1 E mu. Here, B12 is Einstein coefficient of induced absorption. Now consider spontaneous emission. During this emission, atom in excited state will return to its ground state by emitting a photon of energy E mu without any external agency. That means this process is not depends on energy density of incident photon and depends only on number of electrons in excited state, say N2. Therefore, rate of spontaneous emission is directly proportional to N2, that is, rate of spontaneous emission equals A21 N2. Here, A21 is Einstein coefficient of spontaneous emission constant. Now consider stimulated emission. During this emission, all the electrons in excited state are transferred to metastable state. 
when light passes through the atom then electrons returns to ground state by emitting a stimulated photon here rate of stimulated emission is depends on number of electrons in metastable state say n2 and also depends on energy density of incident photon therefore rate of stimulated emission is directly proportional to n2 e mu that is rate of stimulated emission is equals to b21 n2 e mu here b21 is einstein coefficient of stimulated emission constant so at thermal equilibrium by conservation of energy we can write rate of induced absorption is equals to rate of spontaneous emission plus rate of stimulated emission that is b1 to n1 e mu equals a21 n2 plus b21 n2 e mu if you shift to b21 n2 e mu to the left side then equation will be b1 to n1 e mu minus b21 n2 e mu equals a21 n2 now take e mu as common in lhs then we get e mu into b1 to n1 minus b21 n2 equals a21 n2 now we can also write it like this e mu equals a21 n2 by b1 to n1 minus b21 n2 now let's take b21 n2 as common from denominator then we get e mu equals a21 n2 whole divided by b21 n2 into b1 to n1 by b21 n2 minus 1 which is also equals a21 by b21 into b1 to n1 by b21 n2 minus 1 here n2 n2 get cancelled take it as equation 4 now from boltzmann law ratios of population densities n1 and n2 in the ground state e1 and excited state e2 respectively is given by n1 by n2 equals e power h mu by kt take it as equation 5 now substitute equation 5 in equation 4 then we get e mu equals a21 by b21 into b12 by b21 into e power h mu by kt minus 1 take it as equation 6 but at thermal equilibrium formula by planck's law is e mu equals 8 by h mu cube whole divided by c cube into 1 by e power h mu by kt minus 1 take it as equation 7 now finally from equation 6 and equation 7 we can write a21 by b21 equals 8 by h mu cube by c cube and b12 by b21 equals 1 therefore b12 equals b21 which implies that probability of induced absorption is equal to that of stimulated emission hence we can use simply a and b to denote the einstein coefficients so with this our equation for energy density at thermal equilibrium will be e mu equals a by b into e power h mu by kt minus 1 so this is the expression for energy density in terms of einstein coefficients but here also a by b equals 8 by h mu cube by c cube which implies that a by b is directly proportional to mu cube that means rate of spontaneous emission is directly proportional to energy density of incident photon and rate of stimulated emission is inversely proportional to energy density of incident photon so after observing all these things finally einstein come to the conclusion that is at thermal equilibrium for two energy level system we cannot produce laser light due to stimulated emission is too less in this situation in this video we have learnt about interaction of electromagnetic radiation with matter and also derived the expression for energy density in terms of einstein coefficients for two energy level system under thermal equilibrium If you like this video then press the like button if you got any benefit from this video then share this video with your friends also
if you have any query regarding this concept then please comment on the video if you want more videos like this then please subscribe to our channel thank you for watching